And then I need to roll it. Whoops. Yeah, you can yeah, go ahead and lift the whole lift the whole thing, I think, again. Or if you can just lift it. There you go. Press down on your side. Okay, that side's up. Tim, see, see our brackets up. Okay. We want that out of the way. So it's not. So we're going to have to do some work on that bracket. That's correct. That's yeah. It's swinging out. All right. Yeah, we're going to have to do some work on the bracket, Jack. All right. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, quite a bit. Okay. Okay. Uh, Let's get our ear down here. Have to give us some forward roll while we come up. Yeah, you're probably going to have to lift. I'm going to push. Maybe you're going to have to lift quite a bit. We will. And then I'm going to come up a little. Okay. Tell me when you need jacking. We're okay for the moment. Yeah, I'm just going to get, if I can get all four bolts started, then I can just, oops, let me get this on too. Uh, that's too high. Yeah, I have to use a different 
different wrench for that though. It's nothing fits in there very good. Oh, if you yep. put yep, if you just lift from the bottom a little bit, Trace, and I can get it hand. Alright, let's get this beast off of the um that's what that back bracket does. It takes all of that, yeah. all that play out of belly it. Strap that. Yep. All right, let's drop it. Okay. How are you going? It's, uh, it does come back and forth, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was, I told you, that's what, that's what scared the heck out of me that day I'll take a measurement when I was now underneath. I took that measurement earlier where the wheel would be. Let's see now what was going on. Here, here drop it a little more. Oh, yeah, okay. It was 28 inches. Okay. Good. Swing him out of there so we don't whack ourselves. All right. Okay, Brian, we've got her in there. Um, it's mounted. Kind of rocks like a baby in here. That, uh, that seems like a little bit of flex to me. It's uh, coming along. We're one step closer. Um, so I guess uh, next would be the, that uh, bracket and reinstalling the drive shafts. Right, the bracket and the, and the drive shafts. And uh, at the point where we have the drive shafts back in and that bracket on, we're drive trained. Here's your, uh, what's this, your gear shift uh, this, this mechanism? The cables for the cables for the gear shift. Mm -hmm. And where's your clutch hookup? Our clutch hookup is actually underneath. It's mm -hmm. a slave cylinder on the bottom of the... Uh, Okay. of the transmission housing. So do you see any problems with those? No. Nope. They're, they're pretty they're, much back to the same place they were. They're back in the same place they were. Okay. Yeah. So the transmission's really where, where it always was in the car. Exactly. It's in the same location. It's mounted to its, uh, to the, as, as we said all along, we were going to use the stock bracket on this side. We mm -hmm. used the stock bracket on the, uh, yeah, on the right side as well. Side. We've got a little flex in our plate as planned. And, uh, but, uh, it's, it's stiff. Unlike the Speedster, we can't just leave the motor hanging on the transmission in this case. No, we needed a rear carrier for uh -huh. this. So we've yeah. got a little more complicated, uh, uh, mounting system. Um, but I like that we have retained and successfully used the, uh, existing engine mounts without any changes to them at all. Um, really um, and um, we've got one left and that's going to take a little grinding yeah this is going to be a little it'll be a little tricky but mm -hmm. we have to have it and we're just going to have to fix it or fabricate it okay <laughs> well sounds like a plan it looks fantastic I love it next we're gonna when we get done with the drivetrain we'll put in a panel here over the top and uh, hopefully um, be able to mount some equipment. Cool. Brought to you by Erlbacher Gear and Machine Works. Providing custom crafted precision gear sprockets and splines since 1955. With their full line of CNC machinery, Erlbacher is uniquely equipped to help you with your EV drivetrain components. Call Erlbacher today. Tell them EVTV sent you. Okay, Brain, we've got a uh, well-hung motor here. And I like a well-hung motor. It's very well-hung. <laughs> <laughs> motor and a transmission. Uh, your little uh, end plate here looks like it worked uh, peaches. Um, this was looked a little bit to me like three monkeys trying to pork a football on a wax tile floor. But we've got her in there. We've got our adapter, our transmission, our motor, and it's rocking like a baby in a cradle. And that's uh, that's something we need to do something about. And and it did stock the uh, stock motor. There's the mount that we're going to work on. Is uh, it really does support that motor? Yep. We have a lower um, motor mount here that we have to do something with, um, and it's got a uh, carrier bearing uh, for our right drive shaft. And when you pulled the bolt on that on the motor, 
<laughs> it popped loose. He was underneath the car. <laughs> it was a little, it was a little, little uh, dishonor. What, I would say disarming. Uh -huh. He thought the whole uh, motor was going to come loose on him. That's right. Because it's, uh, it's sort of um, suspended from the top in two places. And uh, it just rocks on these uh, two mountings. But we can uh, stiffen that up. We have to come up with some way to attach that lower motor mount to the motor and also um, to that... Uh, carrier bearing on the uh, drive shaft. Right. And I've got an idea how to do that, uh, if you're at all interested. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Okay, Brian. This is a uh, 